Apple CEO Tim Cook recently confirmed that the tech giant is betting big on AI, with a mysterious big announcement related to generative AI slated for later this year. But what does this mean? While details are scarce, evidence suggests Apple will enter a new industry with a groundbreaking new product. Apple's not new to AI, but their approach has been more subtle compared to the likes of Google and OpenAI. But with this announcement from Cook and rapid advancements from competitors, the stakes have never been higher. Before we run through a couple announcement-worthy AI advancements that could possibly be in store for Apple, you might be wondering, what exactly is generative AI? Well, it's an increasingly broad term that basically refers to any AI that can generate something, whether that's text, images, music, or even code. Apple's venture into this space signifies a leap towards more innovative, creative, and personalized tech experiences. We're glad you landed here on the AI world. If you'd like more AI news in your orbit, do me a huge favor and generate a click on that subscribe button. Starting with the most obvious Apple product in need of an AI tune-up, Siri. Once promised as the Jarvis to our Tony Stark, it struggled to be the capable AI assistant we once hoped it would be. It's been eight years since Siri's release, and while it was revolutionary for its time, it has long lagged behind its competitors. But all that might be about to change. There's a growing amount of evidence suggesting we're either going to see a series of Siri upgrades, an entirely new AI assistant, or more likely, both. Apple has been on an acquisition spree over the last several years, scooping up AI companies left and right, including four generative AI companies. Let's run through what each of these are and how Apple may use them to either improve Siri or use them in new products. Hopes were high that Apple's acquisition of Voices.ai would lead to major Siri improvements. As Voices developed a large language model, which we'll refer to as LLMs, that was trained for voice-based assistants and deployed on online shopping apps. And in case you're wondering, an LLM is a type of generative AI that is built to generate text. And they use natural language processing algorithms to understand what we want when we ask it for something. So before the acquisition, this probably looked like a chatbot that popped up when visiting a certain e-commerce website and you could ask it questions about the products they offer. Based on a now deleted report, Voices' tech is not surprisingly being used for Siri in the context of shopping related questions to narrow product search results for phrases like, I need a new LED TV and my budget is $1,000. So no drastic changes there unless you use Siri for shopping. I'm curious, let me know in the comments if you're using or not using the shopping related Siri features. My sense is they missed the mark on what people actually care about, but maybe it's just me. Things might be looking up for Siri yet though, following Apple's power move in scooping up Inductive. Inductive is reportedly helping improve Siri's natural language processing capability and contextual understanding. But more interestingly, it's helping Siri generate more personalized responses built on a foundation of understanding about the user. This seems to be Apple's best attempt yet to turbocharge Siri, and there are even suspicions of a new Siri already rolled out on the Apple Vision Pro, with reports of a vastly improved user experience. With the help of Inductive's data labeling and management solutions, Apple might be working to improve Siri's interaction with file systems on Apple devices. Imagine Siri has an understanding of all the information in all your videos, photos, spreadsheets, and Word documents on your computer and can use that information to help you do things. I'm picturing questions like, hey Siri, can I afford this $20,000 car based on my 2024 budget? Or, hey Siri, can you summarize that email from Greg earlier today? Or, hey Siri, where did I put that document where I wrote some notes about my meeting with Janet on Wednesday? If Apple can pull off something like NVIDIA's Chat with RTX, which allows for the use of natural language prompts to find information in your computer files, that would lead to major quality of life improvements for Apple fans, and especially for Mac users. But for now, Chat with RTX is the best solution for this, and it's free. We'll drop a link to download it in the description if you'd like to try it out, but do be aware the file is a whopping 35 gigabytes. Apple's next big move is their acquisition of Exona AI. Exona develops machine learning models that can run directly on devices without requiring an internet connection or powerful cloud servers. They achieve this by using techniques like quantization, which basically reduces the computational requirements to run any given AI model. This move is likely aimed at helping improve processing power on local devices so that Siri can offer more AI functionality without relying on cloud processing. 
Apple gets a gold star for sticking to their privacy and security values for this one. The last and arguably most exciting of Apple's purchases is pull string. Apple might be using their tech to improve Siri's ability to interact with other apps and carry out tasks. Apple executives are surely taking note of the folks at Rabbit Inc, who just released the pretty cool looking Rabbit R1, reminiscent of early 2000s handheld gaming devices like the Game Boy Advanced SP. Their founder, Jesse Liu, coined the term Large Action Model, or LAM, which essentially bridges the gap between language models and other applications. Most of the top LLMs have gotten as sufficient, if not better than humans, at interpreting our desired outcomes from prompts. But LAMs are meant to actually carry out the task, like booking an Uber, finding a certain photo, ordering takeout, finding any type of file on Mac, and more. LAMs, or some iteration of them, are undoubtedly the foundation for a series of significant and life-altering advancements for generative AI. If Apple were to integrate an LAM or series of them into Siri, it would be the first step towards having an actual assistant in your pocket. Now that we've covered the Siri theory, let's talk about another possible scenario and dive into the evidence suggesting Apple's big announcement is the Apple Car. There has been a whirlwind of speculation surrounding the design and functionality of the much-anticipated iCar. This saga, fueled by a series of leaks and rumors, both verified and otherwise, has captured our imaginations. But what are the facts of the matter? Let's dive in to what we know. When Apple acquired Drive.ai, a company developing software and sensors for self-driving cars, many assumed it was somewhat of a Hail Mary from Apple, as Drive AI was on the verge of bankruptcy, and it seemed so unlikely that Apple would make the giant leap from consumer electronics to automobiles. The supply chain challenge alone is enough to make most write this off as something that would probably never happen. I mean, take a look at some of the challenges Tesla has encountered while attempting to bring the Cybertruck to market, which was announced in 2019 and was supposed to be in production by the end of 2021. These delays were caused by a myriad of supply chain issues, like the ongoing chip shortage, paired with some arguably poor decision making, like developing their own ultra-strong stainless steel for the Cybertruck exoskeleton. The reason other car manufacturers don't use steel for body parts is that it's more difficult to bend and manipulate, leading to longer production times and increased costs. Additionally, the exoskeleton design requires an entirely new manufacturing process than traditional vehicles, which further complicates the production process. So let's hope Apple focuses on what they do best with the Apple car, customer experience, instead of opting for an entirely new design of car with entirely new parts and building processes that might present challenges in bringing this to market in a timely manner, which based on their patents and partnership endeavors looks probable. It's looking more and more likely that Apple is serious about their iCar endeavors. Apple's investments in LiDAR and pursuits of partnerships with companies like Hyundai suggest they're working on a vehicle that's not only self-driving, but also intelligent in adapting to its environment and user needs. Generative AI could elevate this by enabling the car to learn from vast amounts of data, improving safety features, navigation, and even decision-making in complex driving scenarios. Moreover, Apple's patents hint at a vehicle that caters to the individual preferences of its occupants. A couple of their numerous vehicle patents include automatically adjusting seat positions and a virtual reality system for vehicle passengers. These patents suggest that Apple is exploring various aspects of vehicle design and functionality. Imagine stepping into an Apple car that adjusts its interior ambience, seat positioning, and entertainment options based on your mood or the time of day, thanks to generative AI. This technology could analyze your preferences and create a driving experience that's not just personalized, but predictive, anticipating your needs before you even express them. In an era where our lives are increasingly intertwined with digital ecosystems, the Apple car could serve as a mobile extension of this digital life. Generative AI could enable seamless integration with other Apple services and products, offering a unified experience. Whether it's continuing a FaceTime call from your iPhone to your car's display while your car drives you around, or having Siri suggest the best routes to your destination based on your text messages. As we delve deeper into Apple's strategic ventures into AI and the automotive industry, the spotlight turns back to Siri, which, as you may recall, is poised for a transformative upgrade. Apple's acquisition spree, including four generative AI companies, signals a major overhaul for Siri. From enhancing voice-based shopping with Voices to refining Siri's understanding and responsiveness through inductive, Apple is clearly intent on redefining Siri's capabilities. 
This sets the stage for a Siri that's not only more competent, but also more integrated with users' daily lives and potentially the Apple car. Imagine a future where Siri, equipped with advancements from these acquisitions, becomes the heart of the Apple car experience. This integration could offer a seamless, personalized driving experience with Siri understanding preferences and anticipating needs in real time, all while ensuring the maximum security possible thanks to on-device processing technologies from Zona AI and the Apple M1 chip. I'm not sure if you've seen the movie Leave the World Behind, but there's a scene where all the Tesla cars get hacked and they crash into one another and clog up major roadways. So, to prevent that, I sure hope they'll be making use of those technologies, at least for the self-driving features. With the advent of large action models, we're on the brink of seeing Siri not just comprehend complex requests, but execute a series of interconnected tasks. This leap forward in AI could revolutionize both daily interactions with technology and the autonomous driving experience, blending mobility with anticipatory intelligence. While details of Apple's AI announcement are still under wraps, what we've talked about today suggests it's something Siri or HomePod related. Because as we've seen with the Cybertruck, bringing an entirely new type of car to market is a challenging and time-consuming process. Do you think it will be one of the two or perhaps something entirely different? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you want to stay up to date on the latest happenings in the AI world, you know what to do.